Hello friends, welcome. Uh, today in this class, we will analyze the management paper 3 of UJC. Okay? So in this class, we will talk about the topics and subtopics included in the management paper 3. Okay? Then we will talk about the number of questions asked in management paper 3. Okay. Then the type of question asked in this and the difficulty level of all the questions. Okay. So we will talk about all of these in detail for the analysis purpose. So let's first start with the topics and subtopics included in this paper. Okay. So we have these all are the topics for it. The to uh, to in total we have the 75 number of questions in the management paper 3. Okay. Uh, the topics are like the economics that is the managerial economics, marketing management, human resource management, organizational behavior, financial management, then the production management, computers and its application in management, then strategic management, states and quantitative technique in management. These all are the topics that is covered in the management. Okay. Now let's talk about the number of questions asked from each of these categories, each of these topics. Okay. From this graph, we can see that the maximum number of questions that is asked from the financial management. Okay. So, the, it is a very important topic. Okay. On the same way, the marketing management, HRM, that is a human resource management, organizational behavior, strategic management, States and QTM also plays a significant role in these as the very high number of questions is asked from these all topics too. Okay. On the other hand, uh, we have the least number or the very few number of questions from the production management and the computers and the application of management. Okay. Uh, the managerial economics is also plays a uh, somewhat good role in this because uh, not maximum and not minimum but average level of question is asked from the economics too. Okay. So this is about the number of questions asked from each of the topic. Okay. Now let's analyze the difficulty level of all the questions. We have total 75 number of questions, okay. Out of these, 39 are of easy level difficult. Then the 29 question is moderate, level, moderate difficult and 7 questions are very hard in nature, okay. So, uh, the more easy questions Easy questions, the maximum number of easy questions is asked from the OB, financial management, okay, then strategic management, marketing management, etc. Uh, and uh, the in, in case of the economics, we have the easy and moderate. So in economics, it is balancing in nature. Then in the marketing management, we have five easy, then some of moderate and some of the hard questions. Okay. In case of the finished uh, FM, we have the easy, we have the moderate and we have some of the hard questions too. Okay. Uh, the questions in com from the computers and management that are easy in nature. And in case of the QTM, we have all three types of questions. That is, that all are also in balancing nature. Okay. So, this is about the difficulty level of the questions. Okay. Here, the financial management, the substantial number of questions is asked from it. And it also having the hard questions, it also having the easy and moderate questions too. So, the difficulty level is balancing among all these types of the questions. 
Okay. Now let's talk about the que the question whether it is directly asked or it is conceptual in nature or it is applicative in nature. Okay. So the applicative questions basically from the states and the QTM and from the production management in which we have to do the application or it is related to the uh, numericals. Okay. Uh, highest number of conceptual questions are from the OB or then from the HRM, then marketing management, etc. Okay. The styles, as it is applicative in nature, we don't have conceptual questions from the QTM and states. Okay. And least number of question is in conceptual in from production management. Okay. The highest number of questions from like uh, that are type of direct that is from the FM. Okay, we have the direct questions from the FM. Then the strategic management also having the direct questions. QTM also having the direct questions. All other having a uh, very few direct questions. Okay, apart from these, the maximum number of questions. Uh, are also asked from the conceptually based on the concepts concepts of the topic. Okay. So this is about the whether the questions are direct, conceptual, or applicative in nature. Now let's talk about the type of the questions that is asked. Here we have the certain types of the questions that are asked in these management paper three. The types of questions like the MCQ, match list, statement conclusion, arrangement and assertion reason. Okay. Uh, from these we have the maximum of MC, maximum type of questions are like MCQ. We have the 76 percentage of questions that are of MCQ type. Okay. And a very least number of question is asked from the assertion reason okay and the arrangement type of questions okay in this paper the match list and the statement conclusion is also plays a very important role here the mcq papers are somewhat easy in nature okay but the match list and the arrangement questions analyze Okay, in depth knowledge about the concept, and therefore the match list questions and the statement conclusion questions are somewhat difficult in nature, and that's why also it plays a significant role. That is, we have the more number of questions from the match list also and from the statement conclusion also because it analyzes the various concept at a one time also. Let's understand the type of questions like the match list questions and the arrangement questions. We have the example of the match list question over here. In these, we, we are given the list 1 and the list 2. In list 1, we have the various uh, topics, various questions, okay. And we have to match all that concept with the list 2. So, in these list 1 are matched with list 2. We have to match list 1 with list 2. Okay. So, here the whether the A is related to 1, 2, 3 or 4. The same way whether B is related to 1, 2, 3 or 4. Okay. We have to see all of these. Okay. So, we need to know over here at least 4 topics. Okay. And which is related to which one. Okay, so we need to understand all of these and we are also given a course for it uh, the, in which we have to match ABCD with 1, 2, 3, 4. So here various codes are given. Okay, let's say correct answer over here is A. So the A is 1. Okay, the correct answer of this is 1. Then of B is 2, C is 3 and D is 4. This type of questions are known as the match list questions. Okay. Now let's take the example of the statement conclusion questions. 
We have the example of the statement conclusion question that is asked in the management paper 3. In these, we are given the statement, various statements. Let's say over here we have this two statement, that is statement 1 and statement 2. Uh, this, is, this is from the statistic. Okay, question is related to the statistic topics. Okay. Here we have the first statement is related to the chi-square distribution and the second is related to the ANOVA testing. Okay. So here in statement 1, the different topics, different concern and the statement 2 also having the different concern. So in this question, we need to know both the chi-square test and also the ANOVA test. Okay. We need to know both type of test and then and then only we are able to give the answer of such kind of question. As the, uh, as the codes are like this, whether the question, uh, statement 1 is correct, 2 is correct, both is correct or both is wrong. Okay. So to answer this kind of question, we need to understand various topics and therefore the statement conclusion questions are very much important in this kind of paper. Okay. Because it analyzes the in-depth knowledge of the student, the more emphasis is given in this paper that is on the conceptual knowledge of the student. Okay? So this is about the analysis of the management paper 3 of UGC. Okay? I hope you understand it very well.